harder to believe that mainframes took up whole floors once upon a time. Even harder to believe when you get a load of the next story about a PC the size of a flash drive. Yes, you heard right, all the power of a desktop tower in a tiny package. And this innovation could have amazing applications for South African schools. Its name is about as sweet as its capability. It's called the FXI Cotton Candy, a slim slice of Android or Ubuntu Linux mini PC that's been made available in South Africa. Because it runs on Android 4.0, it's like working on your smartphone or tablet PC just much faster. It connects via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to the internet and other devices. Basically, if you plug this little thing into any screen, it turns it into a PC with the function quite like a tablet, making it perfect to be utilized in the classrooms. The traditional methods of teaching will always be the foundation. You know, um, like Madiba said, uh, education is, is, is the power of a nation. That's basically what it comes down to. So you're always going to need your educators. But what we're going to be doing is making their job a lot simpler and easier to get their message across to the students that they're teaching and to also um, bring about a higher level of education with a better standard and understanding in the educational system. Technology is no substitute for an inspiring teacher. However, online materials are far more available. Instead of teaching, students can be given projects that require them to learn the necessary materials themselves. I've got two uh, levels of agenda. One is to get teachers excited about this so they can actually start using it in their own classrooms. But I think independent of that, I have another desire, which is to equip learners to become self-serving. So for science and maths, which is my own particular passion, there often aren't teachers in schools to provide that and there is great content out on the, the internet so my one dream is to teach learners how to get hold of that stuff. We need to get into a space where we start saying this is a technological age. Every process where the teacher goes through setting it up, getting the lesson ready, a child in class who may not have a, a laptop at home sees how it is done. So we're having this visual lesson happening right there. And maybe they don't have a computer, but they know what the computer can do. They just saw it happening in class. And I think that's a very quick way of getting our country and lots of kids suddenly being aware of what technology can do. The world view of the student can be expanded because of the zero cost of communicating with other people around the globe, including connecting with other classrooms globally. I've only used the Khan Academy videos using Cotton Candy, but in my classroom I really appreciate it being able to put on a video and allow my students to, to have someone else explain a certain concept to them because I can't always explain it in the best way and sometimes it helps to hear someone else explain it. Um, I love being able to walk around when the video is playing to check their work. It allows me to see which students are struggling, um, which ones, you know, where they're struggling. So I, when I go into my lecture portion or when I explain a problem, I can really highlight those areas. At first it becomes a process where you have to adopt what is available and fit it into what you already have. And eventually teachers discover that, hang on, I can have Martin Luther King do his entire speech that I was going to try and explain to the students in his voice, in his action, in an emotion, and then we can continue with the lesson on history and we can talk about, so how do you feel about that? What do you think Martin Luther's discussion was? You didn't get that? Let's look at it again. And that same teacher, Martin Luther King, starts talking in the class again. So it becomes very exciting. Or you use Khan Academy and do this particular component on, on number lines. That's very cool. So, so the lesson on number lines happens. You go into the books and see, do you get that? Do you get that? No, I didn't get that. Okay, after class, you can come watch a video again. You can have the same lesson while I work for somebody else. So you have this extra teacher in class. And, and that's what Cotton Candy is, an extra teacher in class. And it's been difficult, but I think once people realize how easy it is, it just becomes so possible, such a welcome presence in the class. Powerful, portable and versatile across platforms, Cotton Candy is one of the growing number of mini Android PCs starting to appear on the market. But what makes this one special is that it not only makes your dumb TV smart, but it also puts schooling on top. <laughs> 